The Federal Road Safety Corps, FRSC, has reviewed its performance in a lockdown order by President Muhammad Buhari to check the spread of COVID-19 and has identified challenges it encountered in enforcing the directive. The Corps Public Education Officer, FRSC, Bisi Kazim, stated this in a statement on Tuesday in Abuja. According to him, the teleconference meeting focused exclusively on reviewing the operational performances of the Corps with a view of identifying underlying challenges encountered in the course of the ongoing lockdown enforcement. He noted that the enforcement so far had been successful, but there were challenges. According to him, other challenges encountered include excessive overloading of vehicles, both with persons and goods, especially the transporters who convey food produce from the farm or marketplaces to consumers, production plants and other places where they may be needed. To throw more light on this, we have Hygienius Omeje Sector Commander, FRSC in Lagos. Thank you for joining us. Hello. Uh, thank, thank you for joining us on the news. Okay, thank you. So what's your assessment of the road usage during this period um, of lockdown, both by commercial and private drivers? Well, during the, during the initial uh, stage of the lockdown, we witnessed uh, high compliance in terms of um, the seat at home order in line with Mr. President's um, speech. Um, with a view to curbing the spread of uh, COVID-19. But uh, after two, the first two weeks, I think um, people exhausted their foodstuffs and things like that, and uh, we started witnessing an um, increase in uh, violations. Violations in terms of people who ordinarily are not supposed to be on the road, now coming out on the road. Um, so it was really hectic. Uh, curtailing the volume of um, tra traffic within uh, from the first um, uh, after the first two weeks, but um, again we we didn't relent. We kept on uh, letting them know why it is important that everybody stays at home, and thank God also for Lagos State uh, window where you can from 10 a.m. Uh, to 2, you will be made to buy things from the um, local market around you, you know, and um, that helps to solve the problem of people who came out on the pretext that they want to buy food. So um, by and large, we have continued to enforce it and make people to eat at home, except for those on essential services. Okay, in your statement, you noted that one of the biggest challenges um, included some rather of the biggest challenges included overspeeding and overloading um, in dealing with tri drivers. Uh, what more efficient strategies do you have in place to check this going forward? The issue of overloading was a very um, uh, crucial one for us. Uh, we either so we have been fighting the issue of uh, we had this um, uh, operational strategy on total war on overloading. But with the advent of the COVID, it makes it more imperative that people should just realize that um, <laughs> it, this period around, it is even in your own interest as a passenger that you will not allow that the um, driver should overload the vehicle. We have continued to insist that for a car, it's a maximum of four passengers. The driver, one and in, in front of the seat, and of course two at the rear. If it's a space wagon, then it has to be uh, six. That is two, two for each row. Uh, the same thing goes for buses. We, you must not sit and uh, your body touching the other person. So it has also created another um, avenue in terms of our um, public enlightenment because our people don't even understand why we are saying that they should maintain the distance. Some people still take this thing as, if, as a, a joke, as if it is not real. But I think the earlier everybody realizes that COVID-19 is real, the better. So going forward, our operational strategy will really be focusing on the issue of overloading mostly. And of course, the issue of the overspeeding is because the road is very free, light traffic, and people tend to finish their speedometer. But we have continued to caution them each time they get to our checkpoints. 
All right, so during this lockdown, there were obviously cases of citizens defined both the physical distancing uh, in vehicles and the national quarantine order without any justifiable reason. How did you manage with that? Some we did educate and turn them back for those that are not supposed to be on the road. We did a lot of uh, warning and a lot of advocacy in terms of enlightenment. But then we also did issue tickets to some. Because um, when we have uh, one and we notice that they are continuing in the same distance, we, we had no option but to issue. We issued a ticket for uh, some uh, cases of uh, overloading. At least in the past uh, four weeks, uh, I know we have issued um, tickets to uh, over 60 drivers who committed the issue of um, overloading. All right. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. And You're continue. Welcome. God bless you with the work you do.